Who wants to marry or be in a commitment with you? Spirit, for the viewer, who wants to marry or be in a commitment with them, please? This is one of the decks that I have designed. There is a link in my bio to all decks that I use today and also for private readings. But Spirit, who wants to be in a commitment or marry the viewer, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have enticement, masculinity, soul family, manifestation, mirrored soul, and star crossed. This is such a clear and concise message. Let me share. So for many of you, this is going to be your divine masculine. And this person is absolutely soul family. You come from the same source and have the same roots and may have lived multiple lifetimes together. And with the manifestation card, this may be someone that you've been trying to manifest and vice versa, they have been trying to manifest you. The Starcross card can often speak of obstacles that have been put in the way, whether this be third parties, distance, finances, other responsibilities. So sometimes it has this essence of, I don't know if this is even possible for it to happen. You are very drawn to one another here with this enticement card. I'm noticing the flame. You may be twin flames, which certainly can hold its fair share of challenges. This person may also feel like a mirror to you. What you feel, they feel. If you're just about to say something, they may complete the sentence. And for those that still have unhealed wounds, they may trigger you and vice versa. Did you know that it is impossible to be triggered unless there is something that is left unhealed within you? So I say to use that information as a guide and learn to work on yourself. This is vital, especially in the dynamics that I'm seeing here of mirrored souls and twin flames. This person does want to be with you. They recognize that there is a connection. Let's pull tarot. So spirit, for the viewer, who? Who wants to marry them or be in a commitment with them, please? Who, please? Well, lots of cards. Okay, bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Cups, the Sun, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, and Two of Cups. Oh my goodness, so many confirmations of what I've already spoken about within these cards. Let's have a look together. Let's start here with the Two of Cups. Do they not look like twins? The Two of Cups to me has always been a soulmate or a divine counterpart card. And we can see how these tulips are wrapped together, their lives entwined. Just as I had said, they came from the same root. And they certainly do want to bond with you. Not only are they showing the desire for a commitment here, but also with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is also known as the 1111 card, the card of divine counterparts. And 100% it is a card of commitment. It is also known as the marriage card. This person wants to marry you and they want to have a home with you. This card came out the other day and I had said that it reminded me of the Mary Poppins movie where the chimney sweeps are dancing on the roof. The words that came to mind were practically perfect in every way. So I repeat that message, it's very consistent. Also, do we see the string of lights here? Just like the lights that we had seen here. There is a deep attraction, a charm and a lure, as if they are drawn to the flame. 444 on my timer. The sun card. Those who are familiar with my readings, you will have heard me say many, many times that to me that is the Divine Masculine card. 
the moon being the divine feminine and the sun being the divine masculine. So this card would confirm this card. Now I understand that some of you may be saying, well, the illustration is that of a female. This particular deck is incredibly interesting. The artist has depicted all of the masculine cards as feminine. So the emperor and all of the kings are represented as females. I think it's really beautiful that she did that. Later on, she did add another emperor and another set of kings as their masculine. So actually within each deck, there are several counterparts. But let's get back to this sun card. Do you see their eye? It is focused. They are moving forward in a singular direction. The bird here is that of a swallow and we have seen this in many of the cards over the last few days. The symbolism of this bird is one of faithfulness and consistency. In the winter these birds migrate south, but upon spring they return and they return to their original nests year after year. They always come home. The three of wands, it is very possible that you live at a distance as she is overlooking the ocean and holding the ship as if she is thinking of travel. It's interesting because the Three of Wands is also a card of manifestation, which confirms this card. It's a card that says you are seeing your ships come in, the things that you have wanted and desired. I love this beautiful Five of Cups card. We can see that there are three of the cups that are floating by and these two are meant to be symbolic of the other two cups remaining, which in a traditional deck, you would be able to see that they correlate completely with this card here, the two of cups. So what is this card saying? It is saying that there is a release and a letting go of something or someone. And there is a sense of sadness to this, but this, this two of cups, this two of cups here is what they're holding on to. With the Wheel of Fortune, every act that they are taking, every thought process and everything that they are doing is originally derived from love, which is changing their life in many different directions. We see the pocket watch here, which is symbolic of time. In their mind, it is only a matter of time until you are together. Lastly, we have this judgment card. There is an announcement or a declaration to be made. Do we see that she is holding the trumpet and it has not yet been brought to her lips? Something very significant is about to be said. I feel like this may be the proposal or the declaration. So in summary, who is it that wants marriage or potentially a commitment with you? This is someone who is potentially your twin a twin flame or a mirrored soul, a soulmate and someone who is from your soul family. There is happiness and healing coming. Someone is coming home. They always come home is what I hear. And yes, they do want marriage, commitment, a home with you. To them, that would be perfection. Their life is changing because of this and every action that they take is driven by this need and this desire and this want to be with you. They are willing to leave people, places and things that no longer serve their highest good in order for them to have this union. They have been manifesting and they're wanting to travel towards you. And there is a declaration that is coming. If you would like to learn who would like to marry you or be in a commitment with you, there is a link in my bio for private readings.